Hi there, so this is a little ditty recap of the language paper 2 for AQA and the question 1. So you've sat down in your paper 2, you open up the first, the first page and you're going to come to this question 1 and it's going to have some multiple choice options for you. It should be quite straightforward but you wouldn't believe the number of students that rush it, don't take the time and end up getting a worse mark on this than they do question 1 in paper 1 which has got no multiple choice. This one should be even easier. Okay. Now there's a few things you need to remember when you're tackling this question. Number one, those options are always going to be in chronological order. So that means if you've read a little halfway down the text and you haven't seen anything that relates to the first couple of points, then they must be wrong. They can't be there. So you want to read the text in order as the, as the same order you go down the eight options that it gives you. You also want to use process elimination, so if you find ones that you're not quite sure about, leave it for a minute and just take care of the ones you definitely know are wrong. Cross them out, you're not interested in them and then you can start shading the ones you're absolutely certain of. But also make sure you read the full sentences carefully because they will sometimes put a little word or a little tweak at the end of those lines just to try and catch you out. This is a reading paper and they want to make sure that you are reading it carefully. So what you want to be doing, you want to be looking at just the section of the text that is asked you to. So in this case, it's asked you to look at lines 1 to 11. So here are lines 1 to 11 of the text that, are, that, is, uh, that it's referring to. Now what I want to be doing is I want to be making sure I can see the evidence that supports the comment that I want to shade in. So if I want to shade in the first one, I need to then look at my text to make sure I've got the evidence that backs it up. Where is it? Well, there it is. So I know that one must be right because I can clearly see the evidence that supports it. I don't need to write anything extra, I don't need to put any more details, annotations, I'm just thinking through in my head to make sure I've got it completely secure. So now what I recommend you do, you pause this for a couple of moments and you do this question Make sure and make sure you shade four boxes in. Don't tick them, don't cross them, you shade four boxes. Three, two, one, off you go. Right, so you've probably done that now. Wicked, well done. There's your four answers, shade the four boxes, there's the four bits of evidence. As you can see, as I said earlier, they're in chronological order. Um, and hopefully you got those four right. Hopefully you're well on your way to doing well in your GCSE language now. I've got 100% so far, four out of four, bish bash bosh, crack on, off we go.